a lot quieter right now. Officers left a little while ago. Now, the media was not allowed inside the church per the family's request. Now, friends and family members were just too emotional to talk with us. And those who worked with Officer Lane were in tears tonight. Joined together as one. Even though we don't know them, I mean, we're all brothers, so we feel the pain just like the, <laughs> their department does. To show everybody that we won, we're a brotherhood. You know, so we, you know, wanted something like this happen, we hurt. We hurt, and it's just like losing a personal part of your family. We're one big family. We got to take care of each other. Police veteran Martoya Lang and mother of four was gunned down in northeast Memphis while serving a drug warrant a week ago. Officers told us it's a day to honor her and reflect how dangerous their job can be. It's hard, and, and, and you know, it's a, it's a wake-up call, and it just let us know that, you know, that once we leave that driveway, there's no guarantee that we're going to return. Nearly a thousand officers gathered at the 2600 block of North Hollywood to begin the procession. A Memphis Police Fire Department ladder truck flying the American flag paid tribute to Lang at the place where she was killed. This day was especially hard for the women in uniform, like Mason Police Officer Cynthia Johnson. She fought back tears as she talked about her children and how Lang's four daughters are without their mother. It can happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. My heart went out to her. It just shows the respect for our fallen officer and just a little way that we can show how much we care for him and let the family know that we're behind him 100% today and in the future. The funeral will be right here at Hope Presbyterian Church tomorrow starting at 11. Among some of the speakers will be Mayor A.C. Wharton, Director Armstrong, and family members. Reporting live in Cordova, Jackie Orozco, ABC 24 News.